Good evening, I'm the Friendly Senpai, and today we are going to be talking about Ten Count, which is a yaoi manga created by Rihito Takarai. It first launched in Japan in 2013, but it only recently started seeing a North American release in August of last year. Ten Count tells a story of Tadami Shirotani, a man with severe misophobia that happens across a child psychiatrist named Riku Kurose when Riku saves his boss from being hit by a car. Riku immediately recognizes the symptoms of his misophobia and suggests that he receives counseling at the center where he works, but when he shows up, they decide to get coffee and have a chat rather than have a formal meeting due to how uncomfortable Tadami is. Riku then makes it his mission to cure him of his mental illness by having him perform 10 tasks that he normally struggles with. These deeds are listed from generally difficult to nearly inconceivable and range anywhere from touching a train handle or sharing a drink with another person. And of course, they fall in love and bone each other. I was completely blown away by 10 Count Start. The first volume and most of the second had excellent pacing. Each character was really fleshed out in a way that made me connect with them, and the storytelling itself was just superb. By the time I finished the second volume, I immediately went online to read the fan translations that I could find, but things went downhill pretty quickly. The author mentioned that she felt that the first volume started out too slow, which I feel was absurd because it was perfect. So then she dialed everything up to a 10 and just went full speed ahead, like my god. Yet for as jarring as I felt the advancement was, there's something I have to praise Takarai for, and that's her depiction of Tadami's fear of bacteria. For as serious and destructive of a condition as it is, it's typically presented in media as something to be mocked. Ten Count, however, gave it the respect that it warranted and treated it how it should be. We saw Shirotani tear himself apart when he disinfected something that someone dear to him gave him. We see the self-loathing that stems from knowing that there's something wrong with you but still feeling helpless to do anything about it. It's also shown that a paranoia of contamination and germs isn't something that is easily overcome as we see Shirotani go through these tasks sometimes successfully and sometimes unsuccessfully. Not only does Ten Count display an understanding and authentic knowledge of the condition, but there's an active S&M element that I, as a kink-positive person, really appreciated. Riku sort of takes on this dominant role in the relationship by always pushing Shirotani to his limits, while not pushing him so hard that he relapses. While this is, of course, shown in the scenes where Riku is trying to assist him with overcoming his fears, such as touching a door knob with his bare hands or eating in a restaurant, but this is also showcased in the raunchy scenes. Riku asks for permission and pays attention to Shirotani's concerns, though he will ignore some protests that stem entirely from his phobia to sort of acclimate him to the idea of intimacy. Meanwhile, he doesn't force Shirotani to kiss him and he doesn't make him take off his gloves and he regularly praises him. It's a side of s and that we don't typically get to see. I mean, their relationship is not centered on s and and it's not something that was actively mentioned in the story, but the core elements are there, and the author actually made a little note of it at the end of, I believe, volume two. And when media portrayals insist that kink is just being humiliated while being beaten, it's very refreshing to have something like this lingering about. And I wish we saw more portrayals of kink in this faction. Faction? Fashion. When the time for smut finally rolled around, it was actually the way that the story progressed that made me anticipate it, and not really the, the chance for fapability. <laughs> I wanted to see how the scene would be created with Shirotani's phobia in mind. Though, I won't lie, that shit was hot. <laughs> like, I was blushing pretty hard for most of the scenes, and I'm a guy that clearly indulges in a lot of porn, so... I'm not someone that blushes very easily. If I were to complain about anything though, it would be the fact that Riku is kind of a kudere, and when they do get into the bedroom, Shirotani kind of acts like the super shy bottom that we see in every yaoi ever. Granted, I can understand the latter because Shirotani grew up very insecure and unsure of himself. And intimacy is something that is entirely new to him. So all in all, I am really glad that I picked up 10 Count. 
This is one of those stories that honestly did surprise me with how good the premise was, and I found myself very invested in the story and the characters. It's still an ongoing series, so I will definitely continue reading this as it updates, and I am absolutely going to keep going to the bookstore and ordering or buying the physical copies when they release. But if you have any suggestions for other manga to review, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. I believe the next volume or series I'm going to review is Horamiya because I recently started reading that and guys that needs to be reviewed ASAP. That and I don't want this to be all about Yaoi because I think the last manga review I did was for Yaoi. Otherwise you can find all of my social media as well as my Patreon in the description. Happy unbirthday and remember the senpai loves you. Bye!